Hello friends, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. In this video, we will discuss a very interesting topic of coding data flow, and that is all about the discussion of environment variables. Back to editor. So, before starting this video, let's discuss its definition first. So, what is an environment variable? So, environment variable inside coding data flow is a type of variable which we can access globally throughout application. For example, as we know that inside Code Data 4, we have multiple sections like controllers, models, helpers, and many more. So in case if we want to use a common variable inside any of the file, so here comes the concept of an environment variable. So environment variables are nothing. These are global variables which we can access inside any of the file, inside anywhere inside application. So in this video, we'll see that how to create an environment variable and what are the methods available to access those values inside anywhere inside application. Inside Code Data 4, to work with environment variables, we have a special file available that will be env file. So once you do a Code Data 4 installation into your system, you will see a file called env inside your project directory. So to work with environment variables, first we have to rename that file from env to .env. So as we can see that inside this project setup, I have renamed from env to .env. Now this file is in use. So by the help of this file, we can define our environment variables. Now if we go inside this file, we can see we have lots of comments. Also, here we have an environment variable called ca underscore environment. This is the variable name and this is its value. Scroll down, here we have a database section. So these are command lines. Next, we can see that here we have some environment variables and all of those their values. So by using this .env file, we can create our first environment variable. So let's scroll down. I will create our first variable here. So let's say that my underscore first underscore var. This is an environment variable. So to assign any value, put equal to sign and let's say that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is a numeric value I have assigned to this environment variable. Now I will go and use and access inside our controller file. So let's go inside app, controllers, so I will open sitecontroller.php. So here, let's create a method, so public function, let's say get my env values. So inside code data 4, we have multiple options available by which we can access our environment value. So here, inside this method, we will see all those available methods. So I will choose first all about get env helper function. So inside code igniter 4, we have the first option available to access our environment variable value and that is by using its helper function called get env. So inside this function, look at IntelliSense, we need to pass a name and this is name nothing, it's the variable name. So I will copy the variable name from here, go inside controller file and pass it here. So if I save this change, go and echo, let's go inside config, I will open routes.php so that we can create a route here. So routes, it's a get method, my env values, it will call site controller and from site controller, the method will be get my env values. So I will save all these changes, go inside terminal, let's start development server. Development server started, so to access application, I will go and click on open link. Now here is our landing page, go inside application, I will copy this route. Back to browser, forward slash and here my hyphen env hyphen values. Now we can see that this is the value we have defined inside our first environment variable. Now let's define our second one. So my second underscore var and in this case, let's say this is our second value. 
If I save this change, let's copy this second variable name, go inside site controller and put it here. Save this change, go and reload. Now as you can see that here we are getting a status of 500 which means that internal server error. We have an application error inside this project. So why we are getting our internal server error and this is because we are accessing this variable and this variable is containing all about a string value. And inside this string value, we have a lots of space available like this. After this, here we have a space. After is means after each word, we have a space value. So to actually store such a value, what I will do, I will go and put into double quotes. Save this change. Go and reload. Now we can see that here we have our second environment variable value. So successfully, now we have seen all about our first option by which we can access our environment variable values. Now let's see all about our second option by which we can access our environment values. So let's remove this line. Now I will use another helper function and that will be something called env. Look at IntelliSense, we need to pass a key here and this key is equals to the name of the environment variable. So let's say that I want to access this my first var. Simple, I will copy that, go here inside this env function and pass it here. Save this change, go and reload. Now we can see here we have our value. Let's go and copy this second variable, put it here, save this change, go and reload. Now this is our second value. So successfully, now we had seen two options and those two options by using our helper function. Now let's see some of our global constants. So I will remove that. Now we'll see our third option and by using dollar underscore environment. This is a global constant by which we can access our environment value. So dollar underscore env put a square bracket, either single quote or double quote, we need to pass our variable name. So here, let's copy my first var, I will copy and put it here. Save this change, go and reload, now we can see that here we have our first value. Again go here, I will copy the second variable, go and paste, let's reload and this is our second value. So successfully, now we have discussed our three options and the final one is all about using our server global constant variable. So here, echo dollar, it will be server square bracket, either single quote or double quote and within that quotes, we need to pass our variable name. So save this change, go and reload, now we can see our value. Go and reload and this is our second value. So successfully, inside Code Igniter for application, if we want to define any global variable, the best way to do is by using .env file. So once we define our global variable, we have four different methods available by which we can access those values either inside our controller file, inside helper file, inside libraries or anywhere inside application. So here we have seen all by using get env, env, the third one using dollar underscore env and final one we have dollar underscore and server. So these are the options by which we can access all the values from this dot env file. So successfully, by the help of this video, now we have some concept about environment variables of Code Igniter 4. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.